Aloha shamans and welcome to our little corner of the galaxy here in, at Earth Star Spiritual Center in Greensboro, North Carolina. It is Tuesday night and we are live on YouTube. It is April 2nd, 2024. We are your hosts tonight, Dale and Jeannie Stacy, the abbots of Earth Star Spiritual Center. So thank you and, and thank you for joining us. Hello, everybody, and thank you for being here and uh, chat with us. Let us know you're here. Tell us that you are so we can we'll know that you're out there and we can say hello to you. And uh, we're glad to have our our guest speaker tonight, Kelly. Yeah. Hello. Yes, we are featuring Kelly Hicks tonight. So thank you. Hello, Kelly. everyone. Oh, thank you. And I uh, hope you're having a great day today. Yes. Oh, I just <laughs> excuse me. Good. Now you, you've kind you've kind of slid over just a little to the left. So can you slide a little bit to the? How about that? Oh, yeah, good? there we go. Oh, wait, now you're right <laughs> in the center. Thank you. Well, looks like we got Jimmy here tonight. Let me say hello to Jimmy. Uh, aloha, Jimmy. Great Thank to see you. you. Hope you had a great week, great day today. Thank you. Thanks for, thanks for being here. And Katie, good. All right, so we're here with uh, Kelly tonight, and we're going to Amanda. be just, oh, Amanda. Wait, I've got one more. Okay. Uh, aloha, Maya. Thank you for being here. Hope you had a great day today. Hey, Amanda. Oh, there we go. Blacked out for a minute. Okay. So we're here about awakening to shamanism in 3D and discussing Kelly's path to the shamanic lifestyle and being a light warrior, uh, being on one of our local shamans, and also being an energy worker. So thank you, Kelly, for joining us tonight. Well, thank you for having me. And, and you've been busy, right? So you got a, a new one in the family. Yeah, we have a new grandbaby just born yesterday. Oh, that's yeah. wonderful. Congratulations. Happy, how Thank many you. Is total now? Uh, 12 grands and three greats. Oh, oh good. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> wow, big family. Got your Been own busy. Yes. <laughs> Very good. All right. And uh, let's see. Jimmy <laughs> says, uh, yes, sir. Uh, potting up some peppers. LOL. That's right. Uh, and Jimmy, we got to get together for uh, uh, doing our homestead shaman stuff sometime. So, so give me a call or email. We can set that up. And he says congratulations. Oh, oh, Jimmy said congrats. congrats Thank to you. For having us playing young. Yeah, very nice. Good. All right, Kelly. So tonight then we'll just go right into it. Let me get to our intro slides and we'll just uh, head right to the main topic of uh, how you awaken to shamanism, especially living in 3D. Good. All right, well, we got our Pisces folks from, from, from down the southeast. So aloha, Nicole. Hope you've had a wonderful day. Take yes. care. All right, so our first slide then, let me get to that. Uh, oh, wait, we got Deanna. Wow, everybody's on tonight. Hey, Deanna, aloha. Let me get you up here. Uh, where'd you go? There we go. Aloha, Deanna. Hope uh, everything is okay up there in Fairbanks or no, Anchorage, Alaska. Or, or is it Fairbanks? I think Anchorage, right? So uh, hope it's uh, a little bit warmer up there this time of year like it is here. So thank you for joining us. All right, Kelly, so tonight then we're going to be doing Awakening Shamanism in 3D, and we're with Kelly Hicks. Uh, we are Earth Star Spiritual Center, a multi-faith center for living aloha, discovering our wholeness, been doing this since 2002. So our core principles are on the left side there, aloha, so all living God, love, oneness, heart path, and as above, so below. Uh, we have uh, We are an interfaith church, so wherever you think God is, let's meet there. And on our YouTube channel, we do have meditation videos, everything from Buddhism to Taoism, right? Christianity, energy healing, goddess divine, sacred geometry, Mother Earth, native and tribal. Okay, so take a look at that on our Earth Star YouTube channel and subscribe, if you will, help us to build the channel. And then these are some of the books that we have written and uh, we're hoping people enjoy reading. Uh, the Simply Shaman series started with the Aloha book in 2020. And we have four of those now. They're available on uh, Amazon. And also there's a link in the show notes. And then this is like new classes we've got going on. So starting uh, uh, this month. So we have Reiki, uh, April 20th and 21st. That's Reiki 1 and 2. We have uh, Earth Superpowers. That's going to be April 28th. That's just a four-hour class. We have our Qigong series starting our teacher certification. That starts on April 27th. And that's... Uh, World Tai Chi and Qigong Day. So what a great day to start there. That'll be a four-hour class. And uh, even though it's for teacher certification, 
uh, we've had folks take the class just so they can learn the Qigong movements. So it's perfectly fine that you do that and you don't, you do not have to take uh, class number four, which is the instructor part. And then if you'd like to supplement your energy healing with a Hawaiian uh, shamanism energy work, our HUNA classes, HUNA one and two will be May 18th and 19th. And then we have a shamanic life coaching certification class. That'll be June 8th and 9th. And then with that one, we're going to have a four weekly uh, kind of like a Zoom classes uh, to get your certification with that. That's included with the, the class itself. And then we have sound energy healing. And that's going to be uh, June 29th and 30th. And then we have good old Merkaba. We've had a lot of people interested in our Merkaba classes, Alpha to the Omega Sphere. And that'll be July 20 and 21. So I hope you can join us sometime and, and, and come here and be with us. That'll be great. And then making things pretty. That's Jeannie's ministry. Making everything pretty, wreaths, bows, and florals. And I think we're going to put some of those on uh, Facebook tonight when we get a chance. And then remember our shack principles, our shamanic principles of smiles, hugs, acts of kindness, and kisses. Try to do that as often as you can. And also remember you are divine. So you are awesome, you are beautiful, and you're perfect. Make sure you tell yourself that each and every day. L-A-B means look like it, act like it, and be that. All right, so tonight then we're here with Kelly, Awakening to Shamanism 3D. And Kelly, we've often talked about how uh, all three of us have really come from traditional religions or church experiences. And then the natural progression for us was to move into a nice shamanic standpoint. And with that, have an understanding that really our church experience was also a shamanic experience as we understand shamanism. So I know we've had some great discussions with that. And, and just to make sure that we're all on the same sheet here to give us a definition that we can work with, let's say that modern shamanism is the harmony of mind, body, and spirit. So the mind thinks of something and establishes a pattern with its imagination, its thought. The body then takes that thought, that imagination, that picture, and it begins to work it, to make it happen. And then, of course, our spirit, it helps us to create it and it continues to inspire us so that we can use mind, body, and spirit to create our reality. And with that, also we think about, well, what is a modern shaman? And a modern shaman is anyone who consciously creates, influences a reality with the harmony of mind, body, and spirit. Because all of us create, whereas a modern shaman consciously creates, influences a reality. So mind, body, and spirit. Too. And then just to give another example of uh, Kelly and I have both come from a uh, church energy, church experiences. So just to take an example and just to show how our church experiences really were shamanic experiences with the definitions we just gave. So as we look at the Trinity, we can see from a traditional church uh, where we were taught about the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit or Holy Ghost. Uh, and then from an interfaith perspective, uh, which is also a shamanic system, we can see how that same trinity could be uh, construed as father, mother, child. And then from a, a shamanism perspective, that trinity is mind, body, and spirit. And then from a wholeness shamanic viewpoint, we can understand that this to be self, other selves, and then finally, ourselves, as we find ourselves being just one. So these are just examples of how really the shamanism has, has been around, even with all of our other experiences in church. So Kelly, when we let me blow us back up here. So Kelly, when you think about your shamanic experience and coming out of traditional uh, churches, uh, what caused your awakening to something more that the church could offer you? Well, I always had a in the when I was active in the church, I always had this feeling that there was always something more, and um, there were things that just didn't resonate at 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 the last part of my of my journey. Things were just not lining up for me, and um, not saying that my experience with my church was was bad because it's it wasn't it was just that i was evolving and and having some experiences that 
the traditional church could not really help me with. Um, one night I had COVID. My husband and I had COVID horribly. And I, I didn't think really I was going to make it. I was really, really, really sick. And this one night I woke up to a bright light in a room in the room and I couldn't explain this bright light. It just consumed the whole room. There was no, no lights on, no nothing. Um, I really didn't know what it was. And I was so sick that I just had to go back to bed. So I went back to bed the next morning. I woke up and I had all these knowings, all these downloads, so to say now. But at that point, I didn't understand why did I, why did I know this? How did I get this? I mean, there were questions because it happened very, very fast. Um, it was a lot and it was steering me to go so to say, go down that rabbit hole in so many different areas. And um, it was scary. I mean, at first I'm, you know, it was really scary. I didn't really, I didn't have anyone to talk to. I hadn't, I mean, I just came from the church and I'm thinking what is going on. And then I received some, these gifts that I really didn't know how to incorporate because of my background in the church of things that you, you know, you were told that might be demonic or things like this, but I didn't feel, and I didn't feel in my, you know, in my spirit, so to say that it was anything bad. There was nothing bad about that light. I was consumed with all love but I was just so sick that I had to, I just, I had to go back to bed. I didn't really know what it was, but anyhow, it all happened the next morning and I was just on a quest and I have been on a quest ever since. I mean, just, I have been consumed with the truth, knowing, knowing who I am, finding out where did I come from? Why am I here? What's my journey? Yes, you're um, a full-blown full Aquarian shaman. <laughs> you, you had to yeah. know. You had to know yesterday. We yes, and I had to. And it was funny because probably about a year into into this into this uh, this awakening, <clears throat> I was really frustrated and really angry because I was learning things that. I was not told the truth with, and I didn't know how to handle a lot of this because I had no one. I had no one. Um, the knowing that I had, the downloads that I had, I couldn't really express to anybody. And um, so I kind of talked to my husband. Thank God he was, he was very open and understanding probably looked at me like I was out there, but you know, I am anyway, so I used to do that. But, um, and then finally, you know, after probably about a year going through this and I said, I have got to get some more answers because I was at a dead end and I, you know, I really didn't know how to seek them. So I, uh, it was like the universe just, just sent me to, to them to, these lovely, lovely shamans here, Dale and Jeannie, and I just, oh my gosh. And when I, when I made the first appointment with him, I was a wreck. <laughs> I left a message on his answering machine and uh, I need I help. <laughs> so, yeah, so I had that first appointment and it was wonderful. And he's, they have both helped me just so much, just learn so much of this of this wonderful wonderful walk i mean it's just you know i've i felt so free when this happened it was like somebody and this is for me my my experience like someone took the chains off of me you know i didn't have to try to 
not that I was, but you know, from my experience in the church, I always was trying to attain something. I, you know, this bigger, bigger God, you know, always trying to be better, always trying to, this is a lot of stress. And I'm just speaking from my experience. But I mean, there was a lot of good times too, you know, so I can't, you know, I can't, you know, say, say anything about that, but it just kind of sprawled me into this next chapter in, in my life. And, um, you know, I just thank for you all helping, helping me, you know, go through this and figure out, you know, why I'm here and why we're all here, you know? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And, you know, and moving on from traditional churches, which of course we love that also because we learned ceremony. Sure. Things. I mean, it was just wonderful, provided a wonderful background for what we do now. Uh, and, you know, and what happened is, you know, God is not diminished with our aloha consciousness and shamanic consciousness. Right. Uh, fact, God is so much greater. Yes. Now yes. Uh, exactly. God being in everyone, everything, everywhere. And right. Add so much to our shamanic principles and aloha consciousness. So yeah, you have a wonderful background, and now we just move on with it. So it kind of used it as a springboard. Yes. Yeah, so it just it's more it's just more of a, a freedom to evolve into who you you know you really are and why you're here and you know humanity. I, I think another thing that really really when I woke up that next morning is I had, I, I mean, I've always had a heart for people, but this was different. When I woke up that next morning, I had a, a, a genuine heart for humanity. I wanted to find out who I was and what my walk was in this so that I could be, you know, help, help, with this transition because i i know what i went through and i'm sure there's other other you know souls out there to, that have gone through the same and they're you know it, it's it's a lonely walk at first especially when you are coming out of you know the the church or or a religious institution or whatever whatever you are you know it, it is it's a lonely walk because you're not sure of things everything is for me i you know was just it happened so fast and there was just so much and um you know you don't understand and then you you lose people you lose people that you love that you truly you know prayed with and you know spent time with and they because and it's not their fault they're just in fear and they don't understand and, and and but at first i you know i didn't know how to handle that either and so i guess what i'm trying to say is i just want to be here for for people that need need that kind of you know guidance or help um you know, to know that they're not alone, you know, they're not alone in this because it is, you know, it is hard to transition, I should say. Yeah, that's because that's tough when, uh, you know, you're accustomed to being with people on a weekly basis. I mean, 30, 40, 50, 100 to 200 people. Uh, you know, sharing in this wonderful experience at church. And then when you kind of step away from that, now you have to find truly a, a new tribe. And, and I guess you got lucky because what you went on Google and typed in crazy train and earth star spiritual center showed up and, and you called right away and says, I want to take yeah. it. And next thing you know. Yeah. You Cause I, I, I had to, I was just like something I need to know. I need to know. I just was on like on a quest. I need to know what is going on with me. I need to know, you know, what all this is because like I said, I mean, I've only been awake like three years now. And um, when I came to you, what, it was about a year maybe. Yes. And so, yeah, I, what, I mean, I'm, I, I didn't know what was going on. I was like, <laughs> you gotta help me here. <laughs> <laughs> well, well now you developed uh, this beautiful spirit language. So was this yeah. something you had before, but now it's just kind well, of. Well, I, I, I did, I, I did have, 
I what I used, you know, in the church, you know, I had my my language, which is tongues, which I'm sure everyone understands what that is. But mine was always different, way different from everyone else's. And I always questioned that. And I didn't understand why mine was always so different. And I would, would always have to lay hands on on the heart right here right. to 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 get anything to, you know, and um, so I didn't know what that was. And what I was doing was reading the was reading their energy, but I didn't know what en that energy was. I, I had no idea what that was. Um, but I, I knew, you know, I just knew that was different from everyone else. So I always questioned it. So after I realized what it really was, um, you know, my spirit guys told me that it's, it's a gift and it's light language. And, um, Everyone is, everyone is different. It, it comes to everyone different. Yeah. Um, and, and it's, it's, and when, it's, and when you've done that on me, it feels absolutely wonderful. It is such a, uh, it's a gentle flowing rhythmic energy, a wonderful, it's like a smooth vibration. Right. This goes through the entire body. So it is wonderful. Yeah, and you did it on me too, Kelly, and it was just beautiful. I loved it that day. Well, thank you. I, I love it. It's just, I mean, it it gives me joy too because the energy that you feel, I mean, you you can reciprocate it and get it back. It's it's one it's a wonderful feeling. It really is. And you know, I mean, I you know, I've discovered from you, you know, that, that I, that I can see energy. Now it's come to me. I can see energy. I have energy that comes out through my, through my hands. It comes out through my fingers. Um, and I think it's just, you know, I think it's just believing for, for me, it was just believing that I have it. Yes. I knew I had it. I've, you know, I must have had it. I, we all have these, we, right. these different gifts. We all do. I think it's just like tapping into what you, you know, you might have had when you were, when you were, you know, first born or, or whatever. Um, so being validated, being validated that it was real that you weren't crazy. Yeah, because I, I, you know, I still kind of had that that one foot in type and, and one foot out. And I was like, okay, I'm trying to separate the ego from, you know, this and try to get in my left brain instead of letting, you know, the ego kind of work. I'm sorry. My dogs are out. And if I'm sorry, we're here, we're here. that's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. The dogs. <laughs> anyway. So, um, um, and what I think saying? the Reiki classes you took with us too uh, gave you some sort of foundation for, 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 for moving energy, right? That's okay. You can tend to them. Let me say hello, let, Brandon. Let, let, let me get them, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'll say hello to some folks. Hey, Brandon, thanks for joining us tonight. Yes, yes, brother. Since Spring Garden Street, goodness, way back in the day, huh? Back in 1999. You were a baby. Uh, yeah, you were a child, and I think we were too, huh? Yeah. <laughs> And uh, thank you, Heidi. Thank hey, you for being hi. here. Aloha. I hope you've had a wonderful day. Thank you for joining in on us. So what we're discussing tonight, while Kelly tends to the animals in the home, uh, we're discussing uh, awakening to shamanism, especially in the 3D world. And Kelly and, and both, Jeannie and I both, we, we've all three come from traditional churches. So that was a wonderful Sorry. <laughs> now we made the, the transition to uh, shamanism, which is the harmony of mind, body, and spirit. So we're talking and discussing some of the things that uh, we've come against that, uh, you know, we have to learn, again, another way of expressing ourselves and our unique expressions of our one infinite creator. So, Kelly, what were some other things other than you had to find some people, which you did. You found us and now some other people, too. And then you had more confidence in your gifts that you received. And, and yeah, those downloads, you get thousands of pieces of information in a very short amount of time. So yes, it, it was, it was really overwhelming at the time. I didn't know how to co 
compartmentalize it. It I was just, you know, but I mean, I think it, you know, I think it comes in stages as far as, you know, how we evolve and learn. You know, I've had to learn. It's just almost like I've had to learn all over again because you know, being in the church, you just, you know, you have a certain, and I don't want to really call it a program because I don't really like that, but it's a different way, you know, and then, it, and then it's, you know, all of a sudden you're free. I mean, that's all I can say. You're just free to, to explore. And I did, I mean, I, I did everything that I could I went into crystal shops? I love crystals. <laughs> I I didn't before. I never had any any you know experience with them. But I I just I never I never. I mean, okay, that's a rock. I mean, or whatever. I I you right. know I did. But it was all of a sudden everything was. It's almost like the light was turned on. That's all I can say. Everything was new. Everything I want to experience. Everything and. I mean, I know I drove Dale nuts. I wanted everything. I wanted all the gifts. I wanted them now. And I wanted to no, just experience them everything. Yesterday. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I still do. Yes. I still do. I want it all. But yeah, but my heart's for, my heart is for people. And um, I just really felt like, you know, that I really could help someone that might be struggling that, you know, Right. Because I had no one, you know, other than my husband, and he really couldn't really help me. He didn't really understand. I mean, you know, but and then you know, you you just kind of try to, you kind of you kind of test want to test the waters with some people that you're close to, and sometimes they accept things, and sometimes you know, it just they just don't, and and it's okay. It, it's okay. Um, I think, you know, as we go on and, and things are happening, I think that they will, you know, realize some things, but it's hard because, you know, I don't have anybody, you know, no friends or anything. <laughs> they're, they're gone. <laughs> but you got, I got, you got you guys. Us. I got all everybody. Listening. Yeah, all, the, all the shamans. At the, yeah. Yeah. Y'all yeah. so. people that are watching, give this woman some love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I love you all. I, I mean, I'm. That's you're. That's it's I'm been. Cool. It's been a wonderful, a wonderful time just learning from you both. Just you know, and Jeannie and all her beautiful, beautiful reefs and things that she does and things like that. And I like to decorate. So, yeah, it's just beautiful. She's got a beautiful home. Yeah. It's very loving. I love the energy there. The energy wow. is like wow. Okay. I love that. I hope people feel that when they come to my home. Oh, you know? sure yeah. Oh, we felt it. It feels good. Oh, and got folks are responding. Nicole said, we're all better together. Thank you for that, Nicole. And yes. For all your friends. Yes, indeed. <laughs> so, uh, well, now how about with the, once you understood some of your past life stuff that we were able to explore uh, during our sessions. Uh, yeah. How do you think that helped you kind of put things together to give you another foundation? It, it, it did because, um, and that kind of came later because I didn't, you know, like I said, I had that one foot still in there, so I couldn't really, but once Dale, <laughs> once he took me, I was gone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, 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 yeah, I, <laughs> I he says, wait a minute, wait a minute, <laughs> come I back. As you hit the cosmos, I wait a minute, let's try to at least stick to the task at least for a few seconds. Now, Heidi goes, Heidi's responding to you. She goes, hello, I don't have friends either. I'll be your friend. <laughs> that's, that's an inside joke. She has friends, but her husband told her she doesn't. But anyway, we know she does, yeah. So we're all <laughs> But yeah, doing that, you know, when the Aquarius, you know, when you when you got on that, you know, you got on that zipper speed train or whatever, you just took off like a jet, and then you were just, I mean, you know, just all yeah. Over. And I've 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 had some wonderful, wonderful experiences, and um, I wouldn't give them up for anything. I've um, 
I've had some some healings. Um, my dog. I mean, this is this this is well. This was very very touching to me because I. Uh, my dog was got attacked out in our front yard here by a neighbor's dog, you know, and, and it happens, you know, not that, you know, but it was, it was hard. Um, so my dog was going to have to have a surgery. And at the time, you know, we just couldn't afford the surgery. So I said, I took him to another vet for a second opinion. And I thought, well, let's see if we can splint him and see, you know, if things get better. So we did this for about six weeks. And then um, they did an x-ray at that point and they said, things are just not getting any better. Okay. We're going to have to, to amputate. And I went, oh my gosh. So I, they said, but we'll let you know in about three weeks, schedule the appointment. Okay. So I, I said, oh, okay. So I started doing light energy on my dog, on my, on the, on the leg. And when they told, I had done this prior to the six weeks too. And, I, and they had told me when they took the x-ray that I'm sorry, you know, I'm sorry. And so I thought, well, okay. And so I kind of got to the point where, okay, you know, kind of was wondering, well, wow, it, I guess it, it didn't work or whatever. And, and I started to have that doubt and I said, no, no, uh-uh. And I said, so that he went in for surgery. I dropped him off at seven in the morning. The surgeon called me an hour later and said that they were running him around and everything. And he, um, he said, I'm going to do another x-ray. So he did another x-ray and Chloe was healed. All healed up. Yes. He all healed, nothing, there was nothing there that showed any breakage whatsoever at all. Yeah, that's wonderful. I was like, I about fell on the floor. Yeah, I was yeah. like, oh my gosh, that yeah. is awesome. What, you know. Um, Energy work, it works. Yes, as, as it, it was wonderful. Uh -huh. I had another experience. I don't know, this is kind of, this is kind of, this is kind of out there, but. Hey, I thought, Lord, I'm going to try this, you know, I'm going to do it. And so I was at Lowe's hardware this couple of weeks ago and I came out and there was a gentleman that had an older truck. He was parked next to me and he was trying, he was an elderly man and he was trying his hardest to get that truck started. And I don't know what made me do this. I just said, okay, I'm going to try this. I'm going to do it. So I got out of my car, I closed my eyes and I, well, first of all, I asked him, I said, do you, I said, do you need some help? And he said, you know, he's a country man. He said, my car won't start and anyway. And I said, well, hang on a minute. And so I closed my eyes and I put my hands towards it and I just saw the energy coming out. And when I, when I opened my eyes, I said, now start your truck. And he started it right up and I got scared. <laughs> I got scared. I got back in my car and I said, have a nice day. And I left because I, and he's like, how'd you do that? <laughs> oh, well, you're going to be a, oh, a handy, yeah, be I, a handy I came home now. and called Dale. <laughs> Lordy. Oh, that's so, right. You know, you'll be, you'll be hey. handy to have around when the grid goes down, right? <laughs> Well, uh, do you, uh, let me put you on the spot, but you don't have to. Do you feel comfortable sharing some of your your light language just just for a, a little bit? I'm sorry, I, I'm not oh. hearing you. Oh, do you do you feel comfortable sharing your light language? Sure. Okay, yeah. Once you go, sure. there, we'll just have everybody just kind of relax. Uh, just kind of put your hands over your heart, if you will. Those in the audience and uh, and Kelly's just going to share some light language with us. Uh, I can't really turn on the music with it because the microphone won't pick up both. So, so we'll just let Kelly do her work. So just get nice and peaceful and relaxed and just be aloha. Here we go. All right. Kaya hasotoi ita hate heke isha edede hasatai ina o sata hate ke akaya ai isi edede asatoi ama a he ele isho toi. 
หะเฮโฮชะหะเทลามะฮะทายะอายะคายะอายะโลชะอายเอเ
Thank you so much for joining us. And just remember, you are divine. So look divine, act divine, and be divine. You are awesome, beautiful, and perfect. So look awesome, beautiful, and perfect. Act awesome, beautiful, and perfect. And be awesome, beautiful, and perfect. Because that's our divine inheritance. So thank you so much for being here tonight with us, Kelly, and sharing your beautiful thank you. story. Uh, beautiful light language. Thank you so much for that. And uh, hopefully we can all get together again and, and remind ourselves that we do have plenty of friends and our tribe is growing <laughs> every day. In some way we're growing and we're always together. So thank you for being here with us and hope everyone thank has you. a wonderful week. And uh, well, let's do a pow and then we'll go ahead and let you go. So one, two, three, and pow. Thank, thank you, Kelly. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, guys. Love you. Love you, and we shall see you very soon. Let me get us out of here, and we can. Uh, uh, let me find my video. Okay, there we go. Take care. Aloha. 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 Bye.